Breakfast is perhaps the most important meal of the day, and we could debate that all day long. But I love cooking breakfast in the morning with the help of my propane grill. I'm gonna make an amazing dish today. It's one of my favorite breakfast one pot meals. It's called shashuka. It's a classic North African dish with a stew of tomatoes, roasted peppers, harissa, and finished with some poached eggs. Alongside that, I'm gonna serve some lamb sausage, grilled bread, and some tzatziki. So let's get started. So when you're lighting a grill, always remember to follow the manufacturer's instructions, to always open the lid, and to never lean over the grill when you're lighting it. So shashuka calls for roasted red peppers. I love roasting them over the propane grill. It's super easy. All you need to do is just take the peppers and then just place them directly onto the grill. So every couple minutes, just turn the peppers. You can see they're starting to char really nicely. That's what you want. Skin is gonna come off super easy after you steam them. It's getting all that great roasted flavor, and they already smell delicious. All right, so the peppers are done. So next, just place them into a bowl, and then just cover them with a kitchen towel, and let them steam. So after the peppers are roasted, all I did was scrape off all the skin and just made a really small dice. So to get started on this dish, I wanna preheat a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna start roasting garlic in the pan. I already have the garlic sliced in some olive oil, which makes it super easy. I like to use a generous amount of the olive oil and the garlic. I just want to start sweating that down. Once the garlic starts to get really aromatic and the oil is hot, I'm going to start sweating in the onion. And this is just about one medium onion diced. You can see the garlic started to brown. It's really aromatic. Everything smells great already. So the onions are sweating down. They're starting to get translucent. At this point, it's time to add the peppers, the risa, and some of the spices. So first here I have paprika, cumin, and ground coriander. I like to add that in right with the onions and the oil, because it'll help bloom the spices and make them really, really aromatic. Then I'm gonna add the harissa paste. And this is where you decide how hot you want it to be. This is a mild harissa, so it's not too spicy. In my family, I like to keep it mild, because I have children and they don't like it too hot. Then I have my diced roasted red peppers. The peppers are kind of the start of the dish. I mean, I know it's an egg dish, but the peppers, like all of that spice and all of that flavor, that's what makes a shishuka really great. So you want to be heavy handed with the roasted red pepper for sure. At this point, I'm going to want to let this cook down for at least two to three minutes, just for all of those aromatics and that roasted pepper to all come together. And then next, I'm going to add my tomato. So once you've added the tomato, it's really important to add a little bit of salt. So you want to draw the moisture out of the tomatoes and let this stew down. This is where patience comes into play. Like you need to let this cook for at least a good 10 to 15 minutes. So that way there's not a lot of liquid because you're making chashuka. You want to be able to have like this really rich and luscious and very delicious uh, stew. And that's the whole goal when you're making this dish. So the tomatoes are cooking down. It already smells great, but I also have some sausage that I'm gonna serve along the side, so I'm gonna start grilling those now. So what I have here is some, just some quickly made lamb breakfast sausage. There's a lot of garlic, uh, ginger, and some chopped onion. I love serving toast alongside my shashuka. I just got some sliced bread here, drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top, and then I'm just gonna season it with some salt and then place it right onto the grill. So the sauce has been cooking for a couple of minutes. It's browned on one side, so I'm gonna just turn those over really quick. So placing all the bread into the basket, it's nice and toasted. So the stew is definitely ready for the eggs. All of the tomato cooked down, it's nice and stewy. This is exactly what you wanna see in a shishuka. What I like to do is crack the eggs into a separate bowl. Now you just make a divot into the braise, and that's gonna be where you place your eggs. So lastly, the most important thing about this dish is you need to have a lid when you're making it. So you just place the lid over the top and what's gonna happen is the eggs are gonna steam in that stew. And it's gonna be really great. This only takes about four to five minutes to steam the eggs. So the eggs are done steaming. They look great. I like them when the yolks are still runny, but the egg whites are just set. I have some avocado that I'm gonna slice and place over the top. And so when you're finishing this dish, I mean, this is truly a one pot meal. I wanna have everything right on top of the shishuka. I got the avocado, 
going to season with some salt and some pepper. Then I like to place some chopped scallion tops right to the top of the dish and some chopped parsley. It smells amazing. It looks delicious. It's a very easy dish that you can make on your grill. So it's ready. It looks great. It smells delicious. We're going to have a lot of fun cooking with propane. I cannot wait to share all of these recipes with you. Have fun cooking.